I think the value of the Auto VTI tool from a workflow standpoint is that you can kind of obtain the right ultrasound image and press one button. The Auto VTI tool really helps us when we're managing patients or diagnosing patients with shock and giving us some specifics about cardiac performance and then how we may expect it to respond to our therapy and then also trending that over time to see how they're responding and how to tailor our therapy to that specific patient. We can see that the cardiac output changes and we can quantify that numerically based upon the interventions that we make. So prior to using the auto VTI tools, there were a couple of options to assess the, the cardiac output or cardiac performance and responses to fluid boluses or not. A lot of those involve some calculations that were a little bit time consuming, sometimes complicated, sometimes hard to navigate on kind of traditional ultrasound systems. I had a patient the other day, I didn't have the venue, but I wished I did because they had a complicated cardiac history, they were in shock, they needed fluid, but we had to be careful. One ability to be able to use the auto VTI tools is to see where the patient sits before you make an intervention, make that intervention, and then determine where they are after having made that intervention.